my son's blood is on your hands. Are you okay? Yeah, Dad, but... I'm worried. Well, what about? Is there something you're not telling me? Dad, I... I, I really don't know how to tell you this. It's been bothering me ever since it happened. Please wait outside. I'm talking with my son. Governor and son are being held hostage. This is code three. If you copy code three. All I'm asking is for you to save my son. Is that too much to ask? Okay. I promise you. I'll see what I can do. I am not asking you. I am telling you to do something. And you. Are you just going to sit down there and pretend that you don't know what is going on? Contact, man. As the days go by, all I see is a system where the lambs are silenced because they are lambs. And the lions roar every day because they are kings of the jungle. We are poor, but we have a God who is rich. We have nobody, but we have a God who is a majority. I know, Ma. Where's he been all these years, huh? Where was he when I was arrested for a crime I didn't commit? Where was he when William Bigler, even with all the evidence provided, wasn't interrogated for one day just because he's a governor's son? Leave my son out of this and tell me what the problem is. Hell no, I would not leave him out of it because he is the problem. Hell sit down. I mean it, sit down. Brandon Smith, Secret Services. All right, guys, let's move. Take your positions. My son is innocent. All of the evidence we presented to the committee board was rejected. And do you know why? Because the actual person who committed the crime is the son of the governor. Watch your tongue, because you're never going to get away with this. Do you know what it means to look upon your dying son, but cannot save him? Do you? James, stop. This is blasphemy. In his time, he will make all things beautiful. After the hearing tomorrow. I hate to say this, but go home, Ma. Forget this fight. It's already a lost battle. I don't see any need for an appeal tomorrow. In three days, I'll be dead. James, no. Now you are a young man who's destined for greatness. You are a young man with visions. A young man whose destiny is, is delayed. I know it will get there. Guards! 
James, please believe me. I know you will be found innocent, James. Please hold on to that. The clemency board will find you innocent. Oh, Jimo. Are you trying to accuse my son of killing a police officer? No, Governor Big Lai, I'm trying to remind you that you took an oath to protect the weak and the innocent. Dad, I... Shut up. Now listen, I'm giving you the last chance to stay alive. Drop the gun. Do you know what it feels like to beg for your son's life? Do you? My late husband and I moved from Nigeria to America for a better life. But ever since he died, my life has been miserable. Society's revenge that is what we are talking about. This is no longer a case about a young man being convicted of a crime. This is a case about a young man who just needs you to hear his voice. I have sacrificed my entire life to make sure that my son could get the opportunities that neither his dad or I could get. His education, good training, those were my number one priorities. I am a proud mother because I know my son is a son that any mother would be proud to have. And finally, potassium chloride, which will stop his heart and he will be gone. We may never know what happened that tragic night. I don't think there's any need to remind you what we already know. But I feel this execution has been prolonged for a long time. What we can do is we can look at the facts since James was arrested. Now the wife of the deceased will never see her husband again. She can never forget the day she prepared dinner waiting for her husband. Waiting for a police officer who was killed by James Norcom. Now this man has left a hole in that woman's heart. And I feel he is of no good to the society. Please. Have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Clemency Board has carefully considered all of the arguments that we've heard here today, and we have reached a decision. Clemency for James Wogum is denied. Therefore, the execution, which is scheduled for two days from today, will oh, proceed. Please. We are adjourned. Please, no, please reconsider, please. No, do something. James, I won't let you die. I won't. Please, what do you do? James, I'm so sorry. I am. I'm Mom. so sorry. James, I'm so Mom, sorry. Mom, don't let them kill me, Mom. I won't. I won't Mom, let them kill you. I won't let them kill you, James. <laughs> Amanda, I know how heavy your heart is now, but don't try to help God help you. Be still and see his salvation. Be still and watch my son die? For how long will I be still? It does not matter when God steps in. What matters is that he is never late. Don't try to help God. Let go. Let go. I know you love Trisha very much, and I do also. And I desire nothing more than to have her as a daughter-in-law. So today, I give both of you my blessing. Oh, son, treat her like a princess. Let your children see you do things for her that lets you know how much you love her and treasure her. What, what are you talking about? Why are you? <laughs> James, always know that a mother is someone who dreams great things for you and then lets you go and chase the dreams that you have for yourself. 
or that she loves you just the same. Don't be so concerned with your rights that you forget your manners. Mom, what is going on? What are you talking about, Tristan? Is there something you're not telling me? Oh, James. Never, ever apologize for using extreme measures when protecting your values or your family's safety. What? Never forget your roots. And always know that when God blesses you, it is for a reason. What are you, you have to do for those who do not have a place to stay. Food to eat, or blankets to keep them warm. Oh, son. I love you so much. I love you too. And if you ever need, just know that I will be right here. Mom, wait. Time's up. Wait, where are you going? Ma'am, time's up. Mom. James, it's okay. You said you'll never leave me. Trisha. Please. Stay with me. Please. As we speak, Governor, you have 30 seconds to save my son's life. Or oh, I swear. I'll save your son's life, but I need proof. You need proof? Okay. Speak now, Governor. 20 seconds. Stop the execution. He's innocent. I killed him. Ten seconds! William, you killed a police officer? I didn't know he was a cop. I was drunk and... And you kept all this secret while an innocent man suffers? That's why I came to you today. To tell you the truth. Governor's son has been shot. Son's blood is on your hands. Are you okay, sir? Give me your phone quickly. Gordon, this is Governor Bigler. Make sure that execution is stopped. That boy is innocent, must not die. Son, is there anything that I haven't done for you? I'm not going to turn you in. But I'm not going to save you either. Mothers hold their children's hands for a short while. But their hearts forever. You died that I may live. Goodbye, Mom.